<sighs> hey everyone, my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me where I'm showing you my everyday hair and makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm putting on my chapstick and I use Lip Medics by Blissex. I love this stuff. I've been using it forever. And then I'm grabbing my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And this is my absolute favorite stuff. And using my damp beauty blender, I'm spraying MAC Fix Plus. And then... The foundation that I use is Born This Way by Too Faced. And I get a lot of questions on what foundation I use. And I've been using this stuff for about, probably a year. I don't really know what color I am right now. Cause I'm in the process of starting to tan again, but I'm not quite tan yet. So. I like to blend it just a little bit into my hairline so that you can't see a noticeable line between my skin color and the color of my foundation just in case it is darker or lighter. Next, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I use the color Light Medium. I'm putting this under my eyes and in my T-zone. And then also a little blemish. And I'm using the same damp beauty sponge to blend it out. Next, I'm grabbing my Tarte Confidence Powder. I'm setting this under my eyes. I'm tapping it very lightly because I don't want to move um, any products that I already have on my face. I'm just setting my under eyes around my mouth and right on my forehead. So I'm setting this a little bit more dense than I do the rest of my powder because these are my problem areas that normally tend to wear off the most. And then I'll grab this bigger brush. Um, both these brushes are by Real Techniques, I think. I'll just apply the rest of my face with a little bit lighter of a coat, I guess. Next, I'm using this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I'm using the same big brush that I just used with my powder. And I'm using a very light hand just because I don't want a super harsh contour, I just want it a little more natural. I have a lot of little baby hair, so I have to hold those back. And I've got a little bit in the corners of my forehead. And blend it out.
And then after that, I'm going back in with my original powder and the denser brush, and I'm just gonna lighten it up right here under my cheek because if you bring your bronzer too far down, it gets really messy looking. So I'm just cleaning that up. And also, I don't like it, my bronzer coming too close to my the center of my face, so I'll put a little bit towards the center. And just anywhere I don't want the bronzer to be I'll fix. Okay, next I'm grabbing my bronzer again, and I'm doing this because I don't like wearing a ton of makeup on my everyday routine, especially when I'm going to school. So a little trick I use is using this bronzer as eyeshadow. Okay, that's a little much. Okay, so I grab the bronzer. I'm using this blending brush. This is the Morphe M200. I'm just gonna put it in my crease. Just because I like a little bit of dimension on my eyes, but I don't wanna wear a ton of eyeshadow, so using a very neutral color, like the one that you would use with your bronzer. It's a good substitute, it's a good happy medium. So you see, like it gives a little bit of umph, but not like a lot. <laughs> What I use for my brows is precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. And I like it because it comes with a spoolie on one end and then a very, very tiny pencil on the other end. So first I comb my eyebrows up. This is my bad eyebrow. And my brow girl, her name is Alex. Um, Want me to just do a definitive line under your eyebrows and kind of make the shape that you want and then also on the top of your arch. That's what I do. I fill it in a little bit. And then to set my eyes, I'm using the 3D Brow Tones, also by Benefit. And I like this because it's not clear, it's um, brown, and it came with the brow pencil that I use, it came in this little kit. And I like it because it sets down your eyebrows like a clear brow gel would, but it's brown so it adds like a little bit of dimension, and it doesn't just look like your eyebrows are glued down. <laughs> Next, I'm grabbing my eyelash curler and just give my eyelashes a little curl because I don't use three eyelashes. Oh. Mostly because I don't have the wand. <laughs> the mascara that I use is Telescopic by L'Oreal. I actually bought this because my friend Emily has really, really pretty eyelashes, and this is what she uses, so I figured if I bought it, I'd have her eyelashes. Not really true, but it still works well. Oh, dang it, I got some on my eyelid. And then I put whatever is remaining on my bottom lashes. And then for highlighter, I use Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, 
but I don't know where my highlight brush is. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. What am I gonna use? I tried to use um, my beauty blender yesterday, but I don't like the way it came out. So I think I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush, but normally I would use a fan brush. I'll grab a little eyeshadow brush like this and I'll put a highlighter in the inner corner of my eye just because it makes your eyes look a little more awake and just adds a little bit of sparkle. And then I put some on my cupid's bow using the same brush because I like the smaller brush. And then I also put some on my nose. And a little under my eyebrow. And then at last I do my lips. And if I have any excess chapstick on, I'll kind of kiss the back of my hand to get it off. So I used the NYX lip liner in the color Mauve, and I not only line my lips with it, but I also kind of like fill in my whole lip with this lip liner just because I really like this color. So I do my bottom lip first and then I rub my lips together to get excess product on the top lip. I like my lip to be matte, so I go over that lip liner color with Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip in the color XYZ. I put a little bit in the center of my bottom lip a little bit on the top so yeah that's how I do my makeup and let's get into my hair okay so I just sectioned my hair into two halves because I like to curl my hair in two different sections so I start with the bottom section and I use a one inch curler and I just heat up my hair a little bit and then I curl away from my face leaving the ends of my hair out of the curling iron And I don't count to any certain number when I'm holding my curl. Just kind of around four or five seconds, maybe. I asked you guys to send me some questions while I filmed this video and one of the questions I got was if you could change your name to any name what would you change it to? Um, that one is a funny one because it's not really something I'd ever thought of. I like my name because my name isn't super common but people for the most part know how to spell it and they know how to pronounce it because I know some people that have a little bit more unique names, no one really pronounces it correctly or spells it correctly, so I like that people can pronounce my name and spell my name, but it's not super common. So I probably want a name that's still not super common. And I like unisex names that can be used for a boy or a girl. Um, I just think they're kind of cool. So some of those would be like Jordan and Parker and Carson and stuff like that. I like the name Carson for a girl. I think that's really pretty. Um, what would I want my name to be? I guess Carson. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like that name for a girl. And there's not a ton of girls who have the name Carson. So it's a little bit uncommon, but it's still a common name that everyone can spell it and pronounce it right. I 
Another question I got was, what is your go-to meal? Oh, that's another cool question. I think it would be any type of hibachi food. I love hibachi food. I love the rice and steak and the steamed vegetables. So yeah, I think I'd say hibachi food, which I'm actually eating right now. <laughs> One of the questions was, what do I use to curl my hair with? For the longest time, I would use a regular curling iron with a clamp and everything, but I would wrap it like a wand because I didn't know how to use the clamp. So with practice, I learned how to use the clamp and I prefer the clamp because when I would wrap my hair like a wand, I would burn my fingers just so every time. And so with the clamp, you don't burn yourself as much. So, like I said before, I use a one inch curling iron and there's no specific brand. This one's literally from Walmart because I went on vacation and forgot to pack a curling iron. So, I went to Walmart and bought this one. So now, when I change the sections, I try to keep them separated or else straight pieces get tangled in with curly pieces. So I put the curled pieces in a hair elastic in the back and start over. And I start in the back just to make sure I get every piece in the back of my head. And when I'm in the back, I also alternate ways that I curl. So I curl away and then I'll curl forward and then I'll curl away again until I get to about my ear. So it's only normally a couple of pieces, but I do this so that my curls don't get tangled together. So I curled away, so now I will curl forward. Still leaving the ends of my hair out. And now I'm curling away again. So now that I've gotten to my ear, I'm only curling away from my face now. Okay, now I'm taking the bottom half of my hair out of the elastic and then I'm running my fingers through the curls just so they loosen up a bit. So yeah, this is the final result. They're very loose, kind of relaxed curls because I like my hair kind of loose. I don't like the tight ringlet curls as much. So I'm gonna go put on my outfit of today and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'll do a quick overview. So, both of these shirts are from American Eagle and this one's a tank top and then underneath I just have a bandeau. And these jeans are from Hollister. And then my shoes are just some cute pointed black Flats, and those are from Target. Okay everyone, that's it for today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can catch all my next videos. And if you want, leave me a comment down below of a video you'd like to see in the future. Bye guys. I started drinking 
a lot of water once I started going to college and that's because when I went to college I decided I was gonna cut soda out of my life and I can't even tell you how much of a difference I've seen in my skin